Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing um, a tarot card spread and we are asking the question, what is it that we need to know about the energies that are impacting us right now? And how is it that we need to approach these energies? What is it that we need to, uh, to do or what is it that we need to let go of? And what will be the outcome of this? Okay, so what can we look forward to? So I'm just going to be choosing three cards uh, from each of these uh, tarot decks and asking the, these questions um, that I've just mentioned. This is a requested video. It was requested after I posted uh, a weekly oracle. Well, not a weekly oracle, sorry. It was requested after I posted the energy forecast for this last week. Uh, that was just, you know, the ex energies that we're experiencing during the week. And as a result of the last uh, uh, full moon, which is a full moon on Aries on the 13th of October. Now, if you come to this video uh, a year later, or two years later, I'm shooting this in 2019. If you come to this video, if your intuitions led you to this video and you feel the, that you'd like to have a reading from here, this reading will, the message in this reading will still apply to you then. So it's not um, stuck in time. It's not only for this particular time and only for those people who have requested this video. it this The messages that will come through here is applicable to all at any time, okay? So, yeah, we have five tarot cards, as, as, as I've mentioned. It's tarot deck one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and you may pause the video if you need to, make a selection, go down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp and you may go directly to your reading. So I wish you all a very good reading and much love. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking today is how are the current energies impacting us and what do we need to do about it? What should we should we do? Should we let go? Or what do we need to let go of? Or how should we approach this? And what is the what is going to be the outcome of this? Where is this leading us to? Okay, so I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. all over the place today. I'm not taking these cards because I don't feel the energy is ready. Like I just feel like I'm still shuffling and these are just kind of, this is just energy that's in the deck already that needs to be released. So I don't feel that this is a message that pertains to you. And that is the reason I'm not taking those cards that have popped out. When I feel that it's ready, I, I will take it if, if it does pop out again. Okay, so that feels right. Great. Okay. So, so what we have here is a combination of um, of cards, which will basically tell us what it is that, how is it that the energies are impacting us? What is it that we need to let go of? Or what is it that we need, or how is it that we need to approach the situation? And what is going to be the outcome of this? So what I feel here is that these energies are impacting you in a particular way in order for you to come to an, an outcome that's been destined for you. It's something that is that needs to be part of your, your journey, something that needs to be part of your soul journey, something that, that you need to do here on this planet, you know, as part of your birth. It's, it's part of your birthright to be able to do this. And what it's saying to me is that you, in order to do this, you need to take a certain kind of action right now. So this energy might have prompted you to be a bit more active than you would normally. It would have prompted you to be a bit more courageous. It would have prompted you to act with more determination, to push forth with something, to ride through a crowd of of naysayers with your with your truth, with your only only your truth and you might be the only one here believing in what you believe and nobody else does but you're still riding forth with courage knowing what you know is true in your heart and if you do that here uh, and you you ignore the naysayers or you give less uh, time to what others have to say about the situation or what the others opinions are you are less um, you, you basically pay less attention to what other people are saying you also uh, 
you know, putting putting aside that part of you which is soft and inviting and encouraging and compassionate and basically choosing your path and only your path here and riding forth with it so that no one can stop you. If you do that, if you do that, then the outcome of it is going to be what is destined for you, something it's going to help you get on the path that you need to be on. So the way in which I see it right now is almost like you're running alongside a train and you need to jump onto this train and this train is set off without you and it's but this is the train that you need to be on to be able to get to where you need to go to. And it's like you're running alongside this train and you're trying to get on it and try to jump on it. But, um, you know, everyone's saying, oh, you don't do that or you won't be able to make it. But you actually do. You do it. And it's it's it means that in order to do that, that you you drop away that part of you, which is usually taking really good care of yourself or really um, uh, taking caution. You, you're throwing caution to the wind and you're saying, OK, I'm going to do this because this is where I need to go to right now. Now, please, by any means, I am not suggesting that you go after running trains and and jump on them. Uh, that is a dangerous activity. I was just using an example uh, to uh, give you an idea of what it is that I'm trying to, what is, what is the energy at play here, or what it is that you, what what it is that these cards are trying to say to me. So um, yes, so it's asking you what is this energy about? It's asking you to be in all your energy, to focus, to be in your fire, to be um, to be in your fire that's almost um, unfettered. It's a raging fire, but not not in, in anger. But it's because you know the truth and you know where you need to go to. And there's nothing that's going to stop you from that. It's also a feeling where, um, you know, it's not it's a it's an untamed fire. It's not a, a fire that's been controlled. It's like a wildfire. Well, a kick, not a wildfire from Game of Thrones. Um, not exactly like that. But it's a kind of fire that's wild and uncontrolled and untamed. It's not a, it doesn't have boundaries. It's it's something that's needing to push you beyond your comfort zone and um, you, you'll you feel the urge to be pushed beyond your comfort zone and you will need to take that and suggesting that you do so and and just you know leave aside the slow moving or the compassionate or the romantic nature that you might ne normally have or the way in which you normally be doing things with ease you know being polite um, giving way leave aside that kind of energy you know the yielding energy and actually go forth and take what is yours and that which is yours is what is your destiny and you will be happiest when you have done that it, it will be a journey to get to where you need to but uh, it would take some time to get here but it's almost as if this is like it's meant to be there it's like in your dna so to say it's 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 what you need to do um when you when you have embodied this energy to get to where you need to you would have hit the jackpot so to say okay and that's what this card is showing quite literally but it for me it's really like kind of hitting the jackpot in in terms of your soul like being able to and it's not to do with material things necessarily although it might um manifest materially but it's it's more to do with that happiness and that fulfillment and and that desire and that which makes you feel like you at home with yourself um so I hope I've explained that well enough. But um, yeah, so that is your energy here. And this is how this, these energies are impacting you right now. And that's what you need to go. Let go of the softness in you. And you'll where you're headed to is your destiny. Just take charge and move ahead. And uh, be of your own mind. Don't don't be thinking about what others think of you or what, what their opinions are. Just be of your own mind. Don't listen to naysayers, okay, as far as this is concerned. All right, so um, that is that for those of you who've chosen this deck here. For those of you who've chosen the second deck, so I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, how are these energies impacting us? What is it that I need to let go of? Or what is it that I need to be doing differently? And what is going to be the outcome of this? So this card's flown out and I feel this is important. Okay, it feels like this one. So for the you, those of you who've chosen the second option here, yeah, these are your cards. And... 
the way in which this energy is, is impacting you right now is that it's asking you to ha take authority, to move into your space of authority and to move into that space of you knowing. And this is unlike the first deck where we talked about a kind of untamed fire. This is about a, a tamed fire. It's a directed fire. It's directed energy. It's about understanding your worth and understanding your authority in this math matter. It's about knowing where you're going to and having goals that are or ambition that is controlled and and planned out and understood really well and knowing where you're headed to but having the steps planned out it's not like you are running through a crowd and you know um with a screaming your message it's like you very carefully have planned the steps you understand what what is going to be the reactions from those around you so this card is actually asking you to take this the, it's basically this energy is telling you right now that you need to t take a moment to plan very carefully how it is that you'll go forward and understand what will come up, understand the challenges that you'll have along the way and take note of those challenges. Take note of those challenges and understand that as you go along, you will have a plan in place to be able to deal with those challenges. It's asking you to step into your authority here. So if you've been feeling like you don't know enough or you don't you ha don't have enough information or you don't have the authority, it's asking you to discard those notions and simply step into your authority. You are the, 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 the boss of your situation, of your life, of where you're headed to. And this situation, you are in control of this. You don't need to give away your power in this. In fact, you need to take back your power and you need to utilize it to the, your in, in the optimal, optimal way, in the most um, efficacious way. All right. So what it's asking you to let go of here, what, what you don't need anymore, or what it is that, um, that you can actually just simply let go of right now that's not going to serve you any longer, is uh, the Nine of Swords here. So it seems like you've been worrying a lot about this or you've been thinking about overthinking, overthinking, worrying, having a bit of insomnia with regard to it. It's been like your own thoughts. Your own thoughts are what's actually um, stopping you from gaining a success here or from helping you go forward. Your, your thoughts are your worst enemy here. So you are your worst enemy in this case. So this is why you need to stop. You need to like stop, take away all these the, this, these cutting away, um, these thoughts that are cutting away, are cutting you away or diminishing you and actually just embody that part of you, which is um, that which is you in authority, you in your power, you in control here. It might be difficult for you. If you're in the state here, it might be difficult for you to come into that state, but it requires you to find a pathway to that. So set this as a goal. And work towards it, you know, take concrete steps towards it, because you're not going to be able to switch this like that, you know, and into this here, you're going to need to work your way into that. So let go of the worrying, you know, the worrying can be a habit at times, and it's not doing any any good, it's not actually helping anyone in the process. So make a make, um, you know, say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry any longer, I'm just actually going to go ahead and, and take my power back. And when you do that, when you do that, the outcome of it is that things are going to start moving forward. So for me, it feels like this energy is uh, like this energy, the energy at play has been that way to tell you, to jolt you into action, to say, hey, listen, stop thinking about this. Stop wondering about how it's going to happen. Stop thinking about how it's going to impact you. Start taking action and take controlled action. Plan, meditate. Think about how you're going to go ahead with the thing that you need to go ahead with. And when you've done that, the result of it is going to be that you're going to be moving forth. You're going to be moving ahead here and things are going to be moving ahead. Projects are going to be moving ahead. Everything's going to be moving ahead. Communication, you know, even even like if it's something I, I just got this now, it's not usually the meaning of this card. But um, if it's something that you, if you've wanted to make a baby and you've been wondering, okay, how am I going to have this baby? How am I going to, how is this going to happen? How is this coming to me? Then oh, how will I, how will I get pregnant then? And you've been wondering about it, thinking about it, doing all kinds of things, taking all kinds of vitamins and preparing for it in every possible way you can. And nothing's actually been happening. And you've been wondering and thinking, overthinking it. It's saying to you, well, just stop that now and take back your power stop stop all these things that you've been doing just take good care of yourself and stop thinking about it and actually just be in your power 
because feeling like you are a um, feeling like you are subject to something a greater power that is beyond you that is controlling you that you you know feeling like you don't have any control in your life is actually not going to help you to to make the changes that you need to you need to feel like you are fully in control of your life in order for you to let go of this of this here or you need to let go of this because before you can actually feel like you're fully in control of your life and that's when things are going to move ahead and i feel like the outcome of this can be a baby it can be a project it can be projects moving ahead it can be communication it can be a lot of communication it can be a lot of com um like um people coming to you it could be it could also refer to like the press um coming to you like suddenly you become famous it could mean a few things uh so in order to do that, you just need to stop worrying, stop overthinking, and just take controlled uh, steps uh, ahead. Um, yeah, uh, well, I've already mentioned it uh, when I described this card here. So what else is there here? Okay, so I feel like this, once again, it's been a habit and it's a kind of way of a uh, default mode that you kind of get into now and again. So this is what you need to let go of here. This is really important in terms of this. And this energy is saying, hey, it's time to let go of that because we want to get here, don't we? And this is where we, we truly desire to be. So let's get rid of this and in order to do, and so we can be here and then the outcome can be that. So yeah, that is your message from, for those of you who've chosen this deck here. I hope that has been helpful. Those of you who've chosen the third deck, which is this one. The question we're asking is how are the energies at the moment impacting us and what is it that we need to hear? What is it that we need to know as we go forth? What is it that we need to let go of? And where will we end off? Where is this energy taking us? Why is this happening? I feel that one of the things that is um it's like a whole different energy from the other two cards that i've read so far so here the one thing that that it's it's telling me that you need to let go of is the struggle that you have to balance things this uh kind of indecisiveness that you might have here this inability to make up your mind to actually make a choice you need to actually make a choice and to choose one thing and to go ahead with that now being in this state here where you are imbalanced where you're juggling too many things where you have many decisions to make uh it might actually alienate you from people it might make you quite socially um uh kind of kind of socially awkward not socially awkward but it kind of pulls you away from from society it's almost like a like you kind of get too involved in yourself and you become like a hermit and you're just involved in your activities and your projects and you're trying to juggle it all and trying to manage it all but you're actually not uh interacting with the world in the way in which you need to be and though and sometimes what can happen in this situation which i feel has happened here for you is that you may say some things or you may uh, do something that is quite impulsive or you might say something where you kind of like lose your temper or you uh use you might you might be said something to somebody which has hurt their feelings and you know it's it's like it's uh, has come largely from the from the fact that you've been struggling to maintain something or just struggling to cope struggling to just keep things in balance here and what 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 is actually happening here what this energy is saying is like Look at the way uh, in which you interact with people. So use that as the measure of how well you are. Okay, and when you see that you're not interacting so well with people, like you might get frustrated with them or irritated easily, or you might try to them, or you might say something to somebody that would hurt their feelings. You might you might be angry at somebody, you know, and just say something in a kind of cynical way 
just because you are kind of frustrated or fed up or with something what it is that you're actually fed up with is what is going on in your life and the inability to be able to control or to manage something to look after something in your world because if you were grounded and if you're doing fine inside your own life and that person whoever that was or those people had to say whatever they were saying your reaction wouldn't be the one that is angry or upset it is because you feel here that you don't have enough time it is because here that you feel that you you don't actually have the 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 energy you know to deal with this person and their their nonsense or whatever it is however it is that you've been feeling right uh, whatever it is that that's led you to feel like kind of um um like you need to take a stand or stand up to something that somebody's saying it's because it's largely due to how you've been managing your life and the fact that you don't have any more resources you don't even have your reserves you've just been using everything and you're like almost on the brink you know um and i feel like somebody like this could actually um if you continue like this right you're going to end up being burnt out you're not going to be able to reap the rewards of um of what you've been planting you're not going to be able to reap the fruits of what you've been of the seeds that you've planted so it's almost like you have all these projects or you have all these things that you're busy with but it's you you're not going to be able to to enjoy any of that because you um you're going to be alone at the end of it and you're going to have quarrels with with the people that you work with or with the people that you you should be enjoying the, the benefits or reaping the rewards with you're going to have like poor relations with them etc so what is it saying here it's saying to me it's saying manage manage your situation better um stop juggling and um simplify your life do fewer things fewer things than you're doing right now and and um it, i mean that might not apply to everyone for some of you that might not be the case it might just be that you've been um like engaging with people in a way that's feeling a bit stressed stressed or like um you're just feeling a bit frayed around the edges and it's saying okay so the main message here is like for some of you you might be feeling a bit stressed and you're fraying around the edges and that you know if you can continue like this you're going to burn out so take a hold take so take some control for others of you there's this very specific message where you've been juggling too much and you've been doing too much and this is impacting the way in which you relate to others and ultimately you're not going to be able to celebrate any of what you have because you're going to have burnt out you're not going to have good relations with people you might it might be both so it's actually saying take a map take control of your life learn to manage and balance things a bit better simplify your life streamline your life a little bit better and then your in, in relations with people will become a little bit more um it will become healthier it'll it'll actually be a, a, a lot more um it'll complement your life better basically and I'll, and then you will be able to work together or build something together it's also here you might be alienating people from you and thinking that you can do this all by yourself and that it's fine for you to do it all by yourself or you can't really can't uh can't you can't really uh depend on other people but in fact here it's like uh, what i'm hearing is that you need other people to support you in this you can't go at this alone so um once you are able to allow those people to come in and support you and help you in this then you are going to actually be able to make some some forward movement and it's going to be to your benefit okay so there was a message for those of you who've chosen this option here um like ultimately you need to be in the state here you know where you have created something and you've you've received something and you know you can be you can both be enjoying it as opposed to like kind of fighting with each other um or being feeling defensive or feeling angry with the world because they're not at your side to help you with something so i feel like that could have been part of the energies uh could, could be it's like the energies are asking you to be a bit more controlled with your words also in the way in which you speak to people take a step back and um you know think about what you're saying before you say it all right so there is your message for those of you who've chosen the deck number three so for those of you who have chosen the fourth deck, the question we ask you is, how is this energy impacting us right now? What is it that we need to let go of or to change? And what will be the outcome of it?
So this, these are the cards that we have right now. Okay, so here it feels like um, you're facing you're facing quite an injustice or you're facing something that's working against you. You've been giving too much of yourself and you haven't been taking better care of yourself. So it's almost here like you need to, the energies are impacting you in a way to show you that, uh, sorry, that part of you which is at an injustice or that part of you which is not being served by, well by the way in which you're behaving mm. or the way in which others interact with you. And so it's saying here that you need to actually uh, look at where it is that you are being at you are at an injustice where is it that things are not working in your favor where is it that everything that's taking place is actually working more in other the favors of others and not in your favor and you know maybe you've been giving too much or maybe you've been uh, putting yourself last or maybe you just haven't taken care of your own needs here and uh, you've been thinking too much about what others think or what they feel or how are they going to be happy and you've uh, done that at the at the sacrifice of your own happiness and so what it's saying here is that you need to stop giving so much of yourself you need to stop actually uh, thinking about reminiscent issues thinking about uh, not reminiscent issues, but thinking, reminiscing about the past. You need to stop being so nostalgic and uh, so sentimental and actually just giving of yourself because of that sentimentality, because of the nostalgia, because you're thinking that, oh, you know, you have to do that because they did this for you or because or you need to do this for them because they are family or because they're friends or because of something, because you owe them something. Because what this card is saying to, to me is, these cards are saying to me is that you don't owe them anything. And uh, they actually don't owe you anything either. You've been giving too much of yourself in the situation, and you need to actually just stop, uh, stop that, and look at look look after yourself better. Ensure that what what is yours that you take what is yours in this situation, and um, and leave the nostalgia, leave the sentimentality uh, out of this uh, equation. It has nothing to do with uh, with what it is. It has nothing to do with with what is at uh, the concern here, the sentimentality, the nostalgia. It shouldn't play a role of actually uh, depriving you of something. It shouldn't take away something from you. It should actually be, uh, you know, giving you something. But here, it's working against you because you are relying on on those feelings, and you're giving a lot of yourself, and in in an exchange, you're not receiving very much at all. And um, what 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 it's saying to you here is that this energy that you've confronted or the way in which you've experienced this energy is that you might have felt quite um, sad about it. You might have felt like a bit of a victim of that circumstance. So you might be feeling really tired or really burnt out or really like, you know, you can't do this anymore or you don't know if you have the capacity to do this anymore. Maybe you want to continue doing it, but you just don't have the capacity anymore. And so this energy would have brought you to to this energy would, would be kind of talking to you about those kind of things and, and asking you, well, how will I go on from here and the way in which to go on from here? You can still be kind. You can still be loving. You can still be giving. You can still remember the good times, but you need to take care of yourself in this process. You need to take care of yourself first and, and uh, you know, and, and ensure and then after that once you've taken care of yourself once your needs are met and once you are able to do what's good for you then you can actually say all right you know i've done what i can, need to do for me and you know now i have time for you and now i have you know the resources and now i can share whatever i don't need anymore uh or or, or that's extra for me with you whether it be love or whether it be you know your resources whether it be your groceries or whether it be your money whatever it is uh it might be that you are sharing a little bit too much of it. Um, and and you're doing so because you're relying very much on what's happened in the past. You know, something that happened in the distant past uh, is is actually influencing how you're behaving right now. And and these cards are saying, don't let what happened in the distant past influence what's happening now. You don't owe this person anything, is what I'm hearing again. So let, let it be, let it just be, you know, and just see... Look right now in front of you and look at it in a very practical way. You know, what is it that I need right now for me? And where does this person fit in in this picture? You know, and what is it that they need? And how is it? But how is it I can give them what they need only after I have what I need for myself? Because you you kind of like doing, you're giving up too much and you are doing this at the sacrifice of yourself here. And what will be the outcome of this? Well, you'll emerge... Um, free 
you'll emerge free or uh, emerge um, kind of new and you'll feel and un- you'll feel um, unburdened or like you don't have these burdens anymore like it's just you and maybe you'll feel alone yes maybe it is that you'll it'll bring you uh, to a space where you feel a little bit more alone but you'll be feeling very much ha- very happy and very carefree very much able to to take care of things and you won't be feeling burdened anymore because whatever uh, responsibilities that you have will definitely be within your grasp yeah okay so i'm feeling like that's the energy here that these cards have spoken to and uh it was such a specific message that i wonder if all those of you who come to this deck have actually um whether this applies to you or not but um it's just very interesting to see how this comes out here. Um, yeah, it's it feels also like something might have been done to you in the past that for which you are still seeking justice. And it's if you let go of this, right, then you might actually be able to come out free. And yes, you won't have very much. You, or yes, you won't. Let, you would have let let go of a lot, but you won't. But you won't be burdened by that by that anymore because what you know what you are hanging on to or holding on to right now is actually burdening you okay so that was your reading for those of you who've chosen this option number four i hope that has helped you and that has been of use to you in some way so for those of you who've chosen the last option here the option number five question we're asking here is what are these energies uh, and how are they impacting me and what do I need to let go of or how shall I approach them and what will be the outcome of them okay oops so we have the C is mother of perfect for perfect perception here I'm putting it back because I just not feel that it's ready. Although it might have something to do with the, with the reading. Okay. Hmm. you i feel like i need to take up one other card so i'm just gonna ask for that there we are all right so so here it feels like uh, the way in which these energies would have impacted you is almost as if it would have actually, uh, it's like waves. It's like this, like it's showing me like in the month you have two different energies, like two weeks in the month in which you feel a certain way. And then the other two weeks of the month, you feel a different way. And this is quite normal for you. And this is quite uh, natural for you. Now that is a really specific message. I'm not sure it's going to apply to every one of you. But it might be with cycles, you know, like the menstrual cycle. You feel a certain way during that time. Or you feel a certain time during the time that you're ovulating. And while that may only apply to women, men have their own cycles and, and they, their own feelings. And they also interact with the Earth's energy and the moon, etc. The moon energy in, in some way. And so, but the way they're showing it to me here is that for you, it's like the energy has been very specifically uh, at one aspect and then very specifically at another aspect. So there's these two different energies playing in your life and um, or it has been uh, playing and might have actually brought up some old emotions or some kind of uh, some nostalgia, not nostalgia, but some kind of uh, like unresolved uh, healing that needs to take place. Or it might have brought up some emotions that you may have thought you dealt with and let go of a long time ago but it's actually brought you into many tears again so it might have brought like a feeling of being quite sad and tearful and, and all of that and um what i'm feeling here with regard to this um i'm feeling what i'm feeling here with regard to to what you need to let go of is um 
I don't know, like I've, I've done uh, five of these readings now and, and this is the second one where I'm feeling that this has to do with pregnancy. So with here, okay, for some of you, every obviously this is not going to be for all of you, but there may be some of you here who need to kind of let go of the idea of having a baby or need to get let go of the idea of being the one that creates or the one that uh, brings about the change or the 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 maternal this maternal energy that uh, that you are you are embodying and, and that you're actually uh going about you know trying to create this baby trying to make uh this child come in your life it feels to me like this doesn't belong to you it feels to me that this is not the right time or this is not what you need to be doing right now like uh, tapping into this maternal energy is not really what you need to be doing right now. What you need to be doing right now is more healing and coming into balance with yourself before you can even begin to think about this baby or begin to think about bringing this into the world. So for those of you not thinking about babies at all, uh, but actually are, you know, you're male or you are not, you know, interested in having a child or you pass that stage or you're too young to have a kid, um, the, what, I, what it, this energy is basically... An energy of wanting to to do something, wanting to give give something, wanting to nurture, wanting to uh, bring something into the world in a way that is something something unique. You know, it might be a project, it might be something that you've been wanting to show the world, something of yourself that you wanted to, to show the world. And what it's saying right now is that now is not actually the time for you to do that. So put that in the back burner for the moment. And it might be that you won't, after this healing that you do with yourself, after this feeling of coming into balance with yourself, that you won't even have that desire anymore to bring this so-called baby into the world, whether it be a project or whether it be uh, the need to nurture or the need to be maternal in a home. You know, maybe you are the young son in a family and you are trying to take care of everyone you're trying to take care of your mom you're trying to take care of your dad you're trying to take care of your sisters and and everyone here and you're embodying you're embodying the um the maternal energy here and it's saying stop that you, this is not what you need to be doing what you actually need to be doing is looking at why you need to embody that energy actually looking at what it is that it's providing you with and and going back and and healing, you know, crying if you need to cry, bringing out some of that emotion that it's that is being stapled down and pushed down, held underneath the surface. Let some of it release itself. You are the one here who needs that nurturing. You are the one here who needs that mothering, and it's something that you need to give to yourself. Okay, and in order to do that, it's important for you to look at where is it that you've come from and what is it that you've experienced but to take a really honest look at that because it feels to me here that there's it's that the way in which you interpret yourself and the way in which you interpret your um your role is it lacks integrity it lacks um, sorry that's not maybe it doesn't lack integrity but it's not authentic it's not really the authentic you it's it's a kind of um a muddled up uh product of all the, the experiences that you've had in your, in your lifetime and you've become something that is something that you think that is acceptable and something which you think is okay but it's actually not you so what they're saying to me is like just you know go through that you know it's like a jewel covered in mud you know it's like go through that dig you dig through deeper or like move away the mud or wash it you know and you, underneath this you're going to find the gem that is actually you so this process of going into yourself and healing yourself, healing the pain that you've been harboring from the past, from whatever it is, and bringing yourself to peace with it is actually going to bring you closer to a sense of balance with yourself and you're going to understand yourself be better and be more balanced and be integrity in integrity with yourself and be authentic with yourself. And once you've done that, you're going to understand that there's this jewel, this is kind of jewel that you are, that you are this person that is that is so much and you don't need to be taking care of others it's you know you're not going to uh, gain your value or your worth from being a mother or from providing that nurturing and that taking care of that looking after these people or anyone else for that matter and this is not what your role is your role is to be um uh, fruitful and be um be full of abundance and be yourself but completely yourself it's to be it's to shine so brightly as you and right now it's like you know i see it's as if you're putting on this makeup to shine brightly but it's not you it's it's you're not shining brightly by wearing 
this this makeup or this this mask you are actually thinking that you're shining brightly and you're portraying yourself to the world in this way but this is not really who you are so take away that wash away that makeup wash away whatever it is that is putting yourself between who you really are and the people and those that are outside of you you know you don't need to wear that kind of superficial facade or that that exterior you need don't need to use that anymore it it served you until now and you can actually let go of that and you can in fact be yourself and maybe it takes some time for you to become comfortable with who you are maybe it takes some crying to let go of the pain that's uh, been created in you so that you actually have formed this persona or this facade that you present to the world and Maybe, you know, all of that requires time and is a process. But here it feels like, you know, if you are able to to face that, the reward is going to be great. You will have achieved all that you desire to achieve. And that might even include the child or this project. That was just going to be one part, one small part of what it is that you've actually desired to achieve. And this is something that you will get to where you need to you if you allow yourself to shine as the jewel that you are and that means really accepting yourself completely accepting all your flaws or what you believe to be flaws of yourself accepting every aspect of yourself all the things that you think you where you've made mistakes in your life it's about accepting that it's about working through that it's about actually just forgiving yourself in order to be able to to shine brightly and each time you um you do that you do an an exercise like this where you're coming into peace with yourself you're coming closer to who you really are and you're taking away more of that mud from this jewel and you're shining brighter and before you know it at the end of it where you're headed to is that you're going to be shining brightly so this kind of energy from this full moon might have been brought about uh, by somebody saying something to you or might have been brought about by something irking you something jolting you into actually understanding that um, there's more that needs to take place there that on some level there are certain values that are of yours that need to be questioned and understood you need to question yourself and understand yourself better because maybe you've been doing something and you don't even understand why you've been doing it all right and maybe you haven't really taken a, a a good look at at what it is that you should be doing or what it is that you um um, what is real in your life you know yeah what is real in your life so um this is a really powerful message you know and it's it's actually i see this as being a really hard path to actually um to go on but you definitely have all that it takes to be able to get there and you definitely the rewards for it are going to be great because you will have everything that you've desired ultimately if only you would choose that path which is authentic if only you will choose that path of you that path of you of your soul that your soul desires to be on not what you think you need to be doing and um not because you need to do it because you need to fit into a certain class uh, or you need to pay certain bills or whatever but simply to be who you are that your soul is urging you to be have you quietened down that voice that voice for too long have you said you know, have you quietened it down? Have you said, no, I can't hear that. I'm not allowed to do that. I can't do that. How can I do that? You know, I need to do this, this and this. Well, give yourself a moment to actually discover who you really are and see if you can let a little bit more of who you are come through in this world. All right. And stop focusing on this one particular project, whether it be a baby or a job or whatever it is that you so desire, that you so need to do, because this is actually derailing you from being who you really are in this world and what you need to be truly doing in this world. All right, so that is your message for those of you who've chosen this fifth option here. I hope that that has been useful for you and I hope that resonates with you. Um, and yeah, for those of you who've come by to the channel and you've watched the energy forecast and you've actually asked for this uh, reading here i hope that it resonated with you as well and i thank you all for coming here today and for partaking in this reading and i wish you all very very well and much love and blessings abound from kismet rising